the 18th of Adar, the uh, portion of the Tanya for this day is in Tadek Lamed Hay, chapter 35, on page 88 or 160 at the bottom. And it's in the middle of the page at the period. The Rebbe was saying how through the mitzvah a person becomes a dwelling place for the Shekhinah, that the Shekhinah can rest within him because the mitzvah serves as the oil that brings the flame of the Shekhinah together with the body which is the wick. And he's going to explain why it's necessary that the mitzvah be the oil and why the virtue that the mitzvah has in that it is completely one with God is a necessary virtue in order to bring the Shekhinah into the body. The idea, the notion of the Shekhinah resting or dwelling it means the presence of God in a given thing because God is everywhere and here we're talking about certain conditions that would make the Shekhinah rest so obviously we're talking about a greater level of Shekhinah or a deeper level of Shekhinah beyond that which is everywhere when we say that, that there's no place devoid of God because what we mean when we say that God is everywhere and no place is empty of Him what we mean is that in every place wherever you look and wherever you go you are capable of recognizing the presence of God as for example through Hashgach HaPratis and so on so we can always be aware no matter where we are no matter how dark no matter how bad the place is we can always find evidence of God's presence but when we talk about the Shekhinah resting we're talking here about God being revealed in a, on a different higher level that not only do we know of his existence not only do we know that he is present but that we know and experience also the truth of God and how is it that the truth of God can be revealed in a given thing and this means to say that that thing in which the Shin is going to be revealed is Nihlal Be'er Hashem becomes incorporated and absorbed into godliness and completely non-existent within God Sheoz, because it's only then who is It's only then that the oneness of God can rest and be revealed within Him. Because the oneness of God, this is the truth of God. But anything that is not completely non-existent, that doesn't become completely absorbed into godliness, there, the oneness of God, the truth of God, can't be revealed. For a very simple reason. Since the truth of God is that there is nothing besides Him, and here the person who is trying to experience that feels his own existence so obviously his own existence is a contradiction to God's oneness so how can God's oneness be revealed through him and this answers the question why is it that in a human being we can connect with another human being by understanding him and by loving him and we don't have to be bottled to the other person although even with a human relationship when we do that which the other person wants, we are closer to him than when we do for him what we want. When we love or, or fear the person, it is not as close to the person as when we do what the other person wants. But even when we don't do what the other person wants, when it's love and fear for the other person, it may not get us deeply connected, but it does mean that the other person is very much alive in our life. And by by the Shekhinah we say that if it isn't bottle, then there is no Shekhinah present at all. And this is why the, the Zehar uses the example of the oil, that through the oil the fire connects to the wick, 
because the, the, the oil feeds into the fire and becomes fire. It, it gets drawn into the flame and it itself becomes fire. And that's how the Shekhinah rests only in a place where the place itself or the thing itself is drawn into the Shekhinah and becomes part of the Shekhinah, becomes godliness itself. As long as it remains a separate entity, no matter how holy the entity or how refined or how admirable, as long as it is a separate entity, it contradicts completely the oneness of God, and therefore the oneness of God can't be revealed there. And therefore, even the Tzadigamu, Shemizdabik Baby Avarabo, who cleaves to God with a great love, Hare, less Machshava Tvisa Beklau Beemes, yet, he can't experience the Shechina in truth because no thought can comprehend him at all. Ki amitas Hashem alikim emes because the truth of God's truth hu yichud de is the oneness and the uniqueness of God which is shehu levadehu ve'efes belode mamesh that he is and besides him there is nothing. So how can a thought comprehend him when the thought itself is something is something other than God is something in addition to God so when a person tries to understand God so there's the understander and the subject which he's trying to understand so they are two separate things and, and remain separate and therefore it is impossible for the machshava for this entity to comprehend or to grasp God's oneness when its own existence contradicts God's oneness and the same is true for the love. This person, the Tzadik Gamur, who loves God, Shehu Yesh Velei Efes, who obviously is existent. He is he's something. Because he's doing the loving, he is not nothing. Is less Machshava Delay Tvisa Beklau. Therefore, he does not grasp, he does not contain godliness at all, the oneness of God, because his very love is a contradiction to the oneness. And therefore, the godliness will not be revealed within him, except through the mitzvahs that he does, because the mitzvahs are God's will, God's wisdom, without any concealment at all, and therefore there is nothing there besides God, and then you have Ardas Hashem revealed. The oneness of God is revealed. In the note, the Rebbe says, Kasha Shamaiti Mamedi Olava Sholim, and as I heard from my teacher, who was the Mazicha Magid, Pirish Vitam, an explanation and a reason, the Mashikos of Beit Chaim, for what is written in Eitz Chaim in the Kabbalah, She'ed ain't safe Baruchu, ain't a Messiahid Afilu Be'elam Hatzilus, that God is, does not join, is not really revealed, even in the world of Atzilus, in the highest world, Ela Al Yedehis Labshus Eit Chila Besvidas Chachma, other than through God being clothed first in the Svira of Chachma, and through Chachma, God becomes revealed in the world of Atzilus. But the world of Atzilus itself would not be a, a receptacle for God were it not for the attribute of Chachma. Just as we're saying here that even the Tzadik Gamur, whose Neshama is cleaving to God with a great love and so on, would not be a receptacle for the Shekhinah were it not for the bitl that he has putting himself aside and doing the mitzvah because the mitzvah is what God wants. The same is true also that the Shekhinah, the presence of God, would not rest in the world of Atzilus without Chachma first. It's because God, the, Mag, the Magid explained, that it's because God is the true oneness, and the true oneness means that He is the only thing, and there is nothing besides Him. And that reality, that fact, is revealed only in the level of Chachma, because Zuhi Madrigas etc. 
because that is the attribute of Chachma, that Chachma is completely bottled and does not interfere and does not contradict in any way the complete oneness and exclusiveness of God's existence, because Chachma, as it is in, in, in Atzilus, does not interfere at all and is not a separate entity at all uh, from God. And so, to summarize what the Rebbe has said until now, in order for the Shechina to be revealed, which means to say, in order for God to be revealed as He truly is, not attributes of God, not aspects about God, not God's infinity, omnipotence, holiness, and so on, but God Himself. And what is God Himself? His uniqueness and His oneness, in that there is nothing besides Him. That can only be revealed in a place that is completely bottled. In other words, in a place or in a thing that participates in that oneness. How does it participate in the oneness? It loses itself in God, which is, which, which is uh, the expression of the reality that there is nothing besides God. So when the thing is absorbed into godliness, like the oil is absorbed into the flame, then that keeps the flame connected to the, to the wick. And that's how we have a dwelling place for God in the lower world. Because the, the bittel that exists in the lower world is what makes the Shechina connect to the lower world and illuminate in the lower world until it becomes his main dwelling place. In the Hayyim Yayim of Chai Adashani, the 18th of Adashani, the Rebbe says, my grandfather writes in one of his Maimodim that a person should learn every day Tehidah Shebiksav with Peter Shrashi, which is, Peter Shrashi is the selection of Medrash Rizal, of statements of the sages, and at the very least, every person, everyone ought to learn at least one complete Mesechta one complete Gemara in the course of a year.